But at the front, Oscar de Isabiga from Alperson de Koenig, he is starting to stretch things out as they go through 3K to go. Jonathan Mylan in the Young Riders jersey. This is that uh, first of the big turns that I was telling you about. It's a nasty one. Worse with a, uh, a roundabout just before it. That almost seems unkind. Well, Alps into Koenig have uh, just about set their stall out already with Jasper Philipsen absolutely there. On his wheel is the, uh, of the wheel of the Chiclamino jersey is the white jersey of uh, Jonathan Milau. Um, also tucked in here, a, a few other hopefuls, including uh, Alexander Kristoff himself. A few others uh, on the blower, um, acting as uh, a defensive witness, I think, to what we're seeing right now. And there's a little bit of space opening up for others to move up and through. Case Boll, who we mentioned earlier on today, uh, thinking about having a, a, a dig for Aston, I believe it is. 2.3 kilometres to go as we look further down as uh, to this group. And who's going to take, uh, take the first bite of the chair? And yet again, you know, X, they often at a moment like this just uh, fill our screens and our minds. And Lidl Trek are also absolutely where they want to be at the moment, on the point, making potentially a big one. Two kilometres to go. Now then, uh, that's the uh, right-hander we have taken, and suddenly it starts to uh, to get a bit gnarly. This is where it starts to pick up. Maximum percentage we're going to have to deal with around here is around 7%. Is it going to be too much for some after a big day in the saddle here, Robbie? could well be. Well, it's Ed Turns from Lidl Trek who's guiding them in at the moment. He's just looking over his shoulder to see the whereabouts of Jonathan Milan. So Turns is done. He pulls off to the side. Milan there in second, third position at the moment. One of the riders of Astana just setting the pace but not having any teammates anywhere near him. Velasco must be the closest, the Italian champion. He's been sort of stalking the wheel of Jasper Phillips. And there he is behind the Ciclamina jersey of Philipson. Now the hit out comes on the Corbin right strong. hand side from Israel Premier Tech. Strong and is Ethan Vernon up there as well? No, he's not yet. Corbin Strong is the man on the back of uh, Simon Clark here whose uh, mouth is agape and it's just starting to get worrisome here. A few others coming to join the fray and Israel Premier Tech look like they're in bossing mode just for the time being. Lots of riders spat out the back. The white jersey here is uh, of uh, Milan is very much in the frame now. When's he going to go? That's the big question. Uh, 1.2 kilometres remaining. Now, don't forget, we've got this uh, 180 coming up for you. It's a left-hander. It's coming up, uh, screaming up at us as uh, the Chiclamino is struggling to stay with, but it does flatten out just a little bit. He's in wheel five at the moment. That is uh, Jesper Philipsen. And here is that turn we were telling you about. Nasty pinch point, and it looks like the gas uh, company have been through here and laid a cable. Well, let's have a look. Let's see. Uneven road surface then to have to deal with. Ethan Vernon looking in a happy place as well here. What a finale we've got here, Robbie. Yeah, well, Milan, he has been just impossible to smash out of the top five. Sitting third wheel at the moment, Jasper Philipson looking really comfortable. Rush coming from behind now, and now Alberto Betiel is up there, powerless as well. No sign of Caleb Ewan, not been able to hang in there, but Milan looking so, so powerful. But Jasper Philipson now moving up on the right-hand side around the Cofidis rider of Zangler and onto the wheel Bauhaus of Milan. I think he's he's coming in. himself there now. Yep. Bauhaus also wants to be part of uh, proceedings. This is the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the little flick flax that you've got to deal with. Now, there's a big turn coming up. Uh, Zingler is uh, also yet again involved. Uh, so, indeed, is Anil Koski. But here is the big squeal of the brakes. Horrible, horrible. You're going to get spell out to the wrong side of the road. Big yep. crash, and it's happened. Well, there you go. Arkea are now digging, for, digging in for glory here. This is phenomenal for them. And the big, uh, big rise is way in front of us. Phil Bauhaus has got an option here. So has the white jersey as well. Is he going to get there? Milan's in of the road. Is he going to get on the throw? Oh, what a win that was for Bahrain victorious. They, they planned that absolutely to perfection by the looks of things. Nico Art and Phil Bauhaus involved at the very last. But a crash really is what this is going to be remembered for and what a nightmare scenario we've had we said it was sketchy at the end and so it proved to be unfortunately and the Jasper Philipson was one of those that got caught out goodness me oh well you can't have it all but Phil Bauhaus has got the party started what about that he and Nico Arndt were brilliant at the last they kept it sensible but that double phase at the end was a nightmare Robbie yeah really tricky in these conditions in the the wet 
and the slippery conditions around that corner. Just you overcook it slightly, just a little bit too much power while you're still cornering. Someone comes undone and it's going to take a heap of others out. And it, it spelt the end for Jasper Phillips. But Bauhaus perfectly brought into position with uh, Nikias Arndt and the rest of the Bahrain victorious team. Jonathan Milan was there the whole time, making room for himself, got safely through that corner. But Bauhaus, he loves to go along. And as soon as he sort of railed around that corner, he opened up his spring. <laughs> and was able to hold Milan off. I mean, you can hardly believe it, but I'll tell you what, we can, because he's done this so many times. He's won at World Tour level on, on a number of occasions, and uh, the, the team just did a perfect job for him there, and he's able to round it off. Credit where it's due. Phil Bauhaus. Goodness me. Well, everyone well, else we went he... the way of Bela Lugosi, didn't they, uh, around this area? Look at yep. that. And, in oh. fact, it was Phyllis who, uh, who lost it. Touch of wheels yep. and he was gone. What a nightmare, Robbie. It seemed Philipson was just trying to use his shoulders to lean himself around. Milan, he just got himself blocked in a little bit. It's actually behind one of the riders off Bahrain. I think it's Nicky Hassan and Bauhaus. He flew. He was gone. Betiel looks like maybe in the background there battling on for a podium, but Bauhaus, clear winner. And Milan may be ruining the fact that he just got himself a little bit blocked. The arms already go in the air in the background for Bahrain victorious because they are victorious with Phil Bauhaus. One arm salute. You see the pain on the face, but the elation as well. Well, I think it was Vakalov of uh, Arkea B&B. Haven't yeah. got any confirmation or indeed a mention of his name yet, but I believe it was him that actually started us off um, into, the, well, the panic stations, really. Those buttons were hit, I'm afraid, absolutely perfectly by uh, Phil Bauhaus, who just made it count. And I'm so pleased for him. And indeed, the way he delivered it today. Very sketchy finish. Almost, it was Vakalan. There we are. Um, ahead of Betiol, who got a good finish. Vendran, Velasco, Caruso, Meyerhofer, and indeed Vermark and Nico Arndt, who helped deliver Phil Bauhaus. What a great team effort that was by Bahrain victorious. Chapeau to them.